Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 and Episode 3 of the Elm Creek Let's Play. Today, we're going to be selling the harvester that we got in front of us right here. We're going to buy a new one. We also have to buy a cedar because I accidentally sold the one that I had. We also need to place down some subsidy signs because that's what we're going to do. And we're going to buy the bakery today. And I got to move some stuff. I made a mistake. You know what? <laughs> If you like videos like this or just want to see more Farm Sim 22 stuff in general, make sure you get subscribed so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos, no matter what they may be, here on the channel. With all the way, let's get right into it. So this poor combine harvester has had it rough. Uh, we've used it quite a bit, very, very extensively. But unfortunately, well, <laughs> I want a new one. It goes 12 miles an hour and the working width isn't that great. I mean, it's fine, it does okay. But what would be nice is if I could, you know, get something a little bit better. That's exactly what we're going to do today. I've gone back and forth between the New Holland and the John Deere. And I will let you know what I have chosen here in just a second. Hopefully we're able to take out enough of a loan. I haven't even looked at this yet. How much money do we have? Okay, so we don't actually have a loan taken out. So let's just take out <clears throat> enough. There we go. Combines? You guys want one? Let's get one. You're probably not going to be happy with me because I talked about getting the New Holland in as much as I really want it. Well, it only goes 18 miles an hour and holds 9,300 liters. On the upside, I could get this, the John Deere T560. I think that the Axle Flow uh, 7150 is maybe a little bit big for what I'm wanting to do right now, uh, although it is only 16 grand more. Also, it only goes 18 miles an hour. So, I'm looking for something a little bit quicker that I can get around the map faster in. So we're going to go with this bad boy right here. We're going to go wide tires on the BKTs. And of course, our license plate. We're going to go with plate number two. We're going to do front and back plate. And we're going to go, DJ, go ham with those little marks in the front and the back. Cool. Let's buy one. There it is. And we need to know our combination. So we need a header to go along with this. So we're going to go with this John Deere. 625x i do have a fast version of this should i go with that instead i might go with the fast version. no we're not going to go with the fast version instead now nah, let's do it right here this is good and now the only question is what header trailer do we go with this because we're already in the combination so i can't actually see a combination for the header so now we have to go down into headers find our john deere go with combinations and boom this is the one that we need to buy right here i uh, will go without the spare wheel Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. And we've also got 105 grand left, which is good because I need a cedar. So let's get one. We don't have to get one that's too small and it doesn't have to be direct drill. So let's take a look and see kind of what we got. Uh, I think before we had the really small one, didn't we? Yeah, the Nordson right there. Only three meters, so it's not very big. Uh, we do have a six meter version here. However, we also need a front tank to go along with it. So do we want to go with that? How much horsepower does that thing require? 300? <laughs> it's kind of hitting it. Yeah. Here we go. This one requires 240 and has an eight meter spread. I think this is the one to go with. We can use our big, big uh, vent and rock and roll with this just fine. I just realized how expensive it is. $159,000. Oh, we might be going with this after all, aren't we? Yeah, I think this is it. We're going to have to go with this. Rip. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get that. Let's get the front tank for that. And I need a tractor. So one interesting thing is since we recorded the last Let's Play, which has been not quite a week ago, but it's been a little bit of time, I have dived into the files a little bit and I've seen that it takes a long, long time for things to grow. Now, obviously we're using seasons mode right now, so we've got all of that turned on. So it's not like we're having any issues or anything like that by the way this looks awesome on this this is so cool yeah and i don't think i've got enough horsepower either 930 i think that's like 295 horsepower sweet uh yeah so it takes a little while to do things is this is this my stop right here bread i think so i need to buy this bakery yep yeah, absolutely don't have enough money of course i don't can i have more money please i need 50 grand there we go Boom, buy the bakery, absolutely. One more thing that I need to do while we're doing this is I need to go all the way up here to the grain mill. Yes, all right. Oh no, more's happening all the time. 
I need to get it here and we need to find our weed flour and uh, oat flour. We need to send that down to the bakery. So I'm gonna go in here and you can see where it's got like deactivate stuff like that and going in here, outgoing products. We want to change this from storing to distributing. This is gonna send it down there and should be good. The only problem is I've got this stuff right here. So we're gonna have to come up here and pick this up. Between now and then, looks like we're okay here. Let's get all this back over to the main farm. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some seeding because we've got to get seed in the ground. I've got another field that has to be harvested. Man, there's so much work. You guys might remember, I'm doing a little bit of field flipping right now. We got a couple fields that are ready. And our first one that we're gonna be starting on today is down here. Field 39 it should be right around here on the left-hand side. Yeah, there it is. Also, making my way over here really, really fast. I said 24, rocking 26 miles an hour, doing just fine. Very happy about that. Let's get on here. I wanna hire the worker and we're gonna get over and do some other stuff. And I forgot about carting. Man, playing farm sim without like crazy, crazy mods is exhausting. <laughs> it's absolutely exhausting. Let's go ahead and get this opened up, get everything done that we need to do. Double check, make sure straw swath is enabled because we do want to bail this up. Make a little bit extra money. Disable straw swath. There we go. So we're good. Let's find our angle here. Okay, I'm going to start up here. The reason worker's going to come down and do his thing. I am a little bit worried about this being so close to the uh, train down there. So hopefully the train doesn't come by and hit our combine harvester. Might have to go down once or twice and just go bloop, bloop. Couldn't do it anymore. Had to load in my cheaty combine. Sorry, episode three, we're already cheating. I think that was episode one. I was just hiding it. Not really sure either way. Uh, let's go down here to construction and let's do some more stuff. So let's go to production. Let's go to generators and we're gonna put some government subsidy signs down. Now, I don't wanna do this one. That's 350 grand an hour in game. Little bit high. This was $350 an hour. That one's not bad. So I think I'm gonna place out a couple of these. I gotta figure out exactly where I'm at. Hang on, where, where am I? Okay, I'm over here. Uh, we're gonna make our way over to where our main farm is, which is just right over this way. There we go. And we'll place a couple of these signs down, maybe down here by the, uh, the river, something like that, that way it's out of the way. And I do wanna put down two of these. Uh, that way I make a little bit extra cash. It makes things easy for me. So let's put one like right there over. Oh, that's right. Two of them on top of each other. Can't do that. And then let's put another one down. Maybe here we go. Let's go through everything. Uh, maybe out by the road. Maybe that would be funny. Oh, no. Let's put another one down like right here. This will be good. Let's turn that. It's upset by local municipality. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna give us 700 bucks an hour. See, this is going much, much faster. Perfect, and it holds a lot too. Another thing I need to do is roll all this again. Again, I gotta do a roller again. Man, there's so much, uh, just so, so much going on. <laughs> let's look this up right here and let's get to rolling. I'm just curious if this is gonna change anything because we've got it on subsoiler already. And I tried rolling a little bit over there, as you could see, you could see where it was, but the worker really doesn't want to do this. We got a bunch of rocks. We don't have any rock like stuff in the game yet. So there's no point to really try and do anything. Here we go. Let's rock it around and let's see. Does this push all the rocks back in? No. So we got bigger rocks this time around. These rocks are much, much larger. So we're going to have to pick these great i decided to go with the big big polar right here the big rock picker the only thing is with this rock picker um well it doesn't it doesn't hold a lot which kind of stinks let's go and turn it on we'll go through here i think you can hire a worker doing this yeah that's pretty sweet you could hire a worker doing this i did go ahead and roll this field i figured why not it's not like it would hurt anything I don't think the rocks are gonna pick up that quickly. Yeah, this holds 2,000 liters. It's probably not gonna pick that many rocks up that fast. So we could probably go grab our tipper and get that done. But I can't seed until this is done. I've got a combine harvester that's far from done and I've got to bail all this out. Ah, great. We don't have enough money. <laughs> 
And I've got pallets that need to be put away as well. I got three pallets over at our grain mill and we need to get those over so we can start making flour like yesterday. So let's go ahead and get that part sorted. There we go, turn that, on. ooh. You still, you couldn't uh, do anything like that with anything off. You had to cut stuff on. I just lowered that without even doing anything. Okay, well maybe it's not letting me now. That's, that's about the same, ain't it? Let's get this up. We're going to the grain mill. We have three pallets up there. We should be able to load all three pallets without any problems whatsoever. And in the meantime, we should, cough, cough, should have at least one field that's ready to be seeded. And we should have one field that is almost done with harvesting. <sighs> should. That's emphasis. Lordy. We're about to do something that I cannot honestly say I ever did on purpose in Farm Sim 19, or 17 for that matter. Load pallets like I'm supposed to. Now, of course, in Farm Sim 17, I didn't have crazy, crazy mods because I played on Xbox back then. Of course, I played on PC throughout the entire lifespan of Farm Sim 19, with the exception of the very beginning. I did do a Let's Play on Felsbrunn. However, I've got to say, one, I love this New Holland. And two, this is really easy to do. I am going to swap, change this up just a little bit right here. So I'm going to take that. We're going to do that with it. That way I can put this up there and kind of just drop it. But pallets are very simple. Like, look at that. It was easy. I did that. If I could do it, anyone can. And yes, there's people that say that and they're like, well, you're a professional. I might be a professional farm sim player. But I play farm sim a little bit differently than the rest of the world. And I think that we can all agree on. So, I mean, this works. Yeah, the pallet forks are a little bit through it right now, but who cares? It's working. And I'm able to do this, like, myself, without anybody helping or laughing. That's not what cry right right there, is it? And here's the thing as well. I already have the heavy lift mod. I don't need to be doing this, but it's fun. I tell you what, I've, uh, so the way I play farm sim off screen and on screen are pretty different. I play kind of more like virtual farmer in his realism uh, experiment. Now, not quite, but like I enjoy playing, uh, playing a more realistic style when I'm playing by myself. So I would load pallets and things like this. <laughs> On screen, I don't do that because it stinks. I'll take this here, put this there. This is what I found. Three pallets seems to work pretty well. We're we'll going to turn that off, come over here and strap everything down, fold it up and we're good. So now I've got everything kind of held on there. I got a lot of weight on the tongue, so this might not steer very well. So is that top pallet moving? Oh, it doesn't look like it. So this is gonna be very, very tricky trying to get all of a helper a bees block by a Ugh. Idiot. Really? There's a tractor there. I can't go around it. Get out of here. Let's get this down to the bakery and at least start to make some bread. I want to make bread. So it turns out the top pallet wasn't on. And I may have made a oopsie. Gotta take a thumbnail real quick, hang on. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing this legit again. I, I did it once and you're lucky I did that. Let's put this here maybe, that, that might be a little bit better. Let's go ahead and put the straps on that, perfect. Hey, it's backing it out. The little crash counter right there at the end, but not bad. And actually putting the uh, the pallet a little farther forward, I'm gonna slam on brakes, see if it'll slide forward. Nope. I'm gonna try and get this moved a little further forward. I'm trying to distribute the weight a little bit. Maybe, yeah. Hey, I got better grip now. Don't pay attention to anything I said before this moment right here. This is how you should load three pallets. I'm a genius. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Hey, while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, this guy looks to be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these off. You know what? These workers will hit each other. We've already proven a factual and that workers don't like each other on those two fields. I should just go ahead and plow those up. You know what? Next year, we're gonna plow those up and I'm gonna do it. Yeah. 
Hey, we got uh, 1,200... We got 1,200 liters of stones off of that other field? Dang, that's pretty good. At this point, I would say, so what should we plant? Uh, the unfortunate part is we don't have a choice. Canola is literally the only thing you can plant right now. I think we're still on the, like, day one. Yeah, still on day one. There's there's a lot to do in Farm Sim now. There's, there's a ridiculous amount of stuff to do in Farm Sim now. Our worker should be good. Please be good. All right, it says canola, so... Nothing growing there, but we got canola here. Fertilize, 50%. Come through. Get a little work done. We'll proceed blocked by an object. Who? Who's blocked? Was I the object? Ugh. I'm being objectified by the workers over here again. Let's just make our way down here to the bakery. There's not very far to go, and the good thing is we've already got some flour right here, so this is going to be nice. If you haven't made bread yet, you got to check it out. Uh, and especially for me, because I haven't made bread yet. I've done some deliveries and things like that, but only for selling. I haven't actually made my way through. This is probably as basic as it gets, other than doing, like, honey and bees. So we'll take this. We own this place now, so it's not going to sell it. We're not going to make any money off of it. And it looks like stuff should pile up in the back. So I think this is where things sell. Yep. So as you can see, it's disappearing, but we're not making any money Whatsoever. Ooh, is that a collectible? Ooh, piece of candy. Gimme. Give. I'm, get away. I can't. <laughs> it keeps doing the, uh... <laughs> get away from me. All right. Eh, can I have it now? Collect. All right, you found a cedar. There's nine more cedars to be found. Okay, so I got to figure that out. We got $1,000 for the collectible. That's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and monitor what's going on in here. As a matter of fact, you can see it down at the bottom right-hand corner. But it's a little, little bitty, bitty small. So we're going to take a look at this. So we've got flour, 4,000 liters of flour. And our flour will now be making its way down here. And we have 37 liters of bread. Sweet. If we go over to it, we can change the output. Right now it's in storing, which means we're going to get the pallets for it. And then we can sell it. If you're looking at that going, what do I, what do, I do with bread? <laughs> here. Easy way to do it. Check this out. So wheat, grain meal. That's the only place that's going to make it for you. It makes flour. Then we go down here and we find flour. Uh, that's not flour. This is flour. And then you got different places that you could do it. But we have the bakery, which will make it, which is cool. So we could sell it for them. Or, well, now that we own it, we can't sell it here. And that's going to make bread. And here's bread. And we could sell it to one of these places, which is nice. We can even see the price fluctuations of bread. You sell it in January. So it looks like we're going to be storing bread for a while. Does anybody know how to store bread? Every time I try and store it, it goes bad. Oof. Couple more things. Right here, obviously, we've got a whole field of wheat that we've got. Now, we could do two things with this. Well, actually, three. We could go ahead and sell it and try and make a little bit of money. So if we went up just to kind of look and see what kind of money we could get for it, Scope to wheat, ba boom, right here. Well, we're in August right now. This is straight up the worst time to try and do anything with weed. Your best bet is in January. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this over to the grain mill. Um, we're, we'd get 1400 bucks max for that. We could get way more otherwise. So, I think I'm just going to take all of the wheat over to the grain mill. That way, well, from there, we can invest all of it ourselves. We can take every bit of this wheat, turn it into flour, and then take that flour and turn it into bread and make more bread. I'm a bread maker now. Get out of here. And we're here. Let's go ahead and get all these done. Say, Worker D has completed their task. Who is that? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. So we go ahead and set this guy on another field. He's already finished the second one. Unfortunately, I can't finish the third one yet because I haven't started rock picking that one yet. And I haven't started rock picking that one yet because we're close to 2,000 liters and I want to save the rocks. I don't want to get rid of them. I, I, I want to take them and sell them to like the rock crusher or something. Do something with them. Where am I at? Here I am. Back it up. Boom, right there. We'll go ahead and get that one unloaded. And let's jump over here. Just take a look and make sure everything's good. 
Make sure we're feeling all right. Okie dokie. So here we go. You see we got see 18,000 liters of oats, 25, 32 more liters of <laughs> wheat in here. And it is distributing the flour. I'm not going to change this. Just going to distribute it and send it off to the next place. Makes it nice and easy for us. And you can see right here, Green Mill Bakery. We also own the bakery. And it is got 69 liters of bread. Nice. All right. Stones and then we're done. While I was on my way, I saw something. I think there's something in here. <gasps> yes! There's a cow! Collect it. All right, you found a cow. There's nine more cows to be found. Are any of them in here? <laughs> I don't see any. And we got a grand for that, which is pretty sweet. I did pay back some of the loan, so that's why some of the money's gone. Also, I'm a little worried about these tippers right now. I don't know if the rock picker will go this high. I didn't run over that sign. You, you ran over that sign. I ran over that sign. Yeah. Moment of truth here. Judging from this far away, I think we're going to be okay. So we'll pull right here. We'll back it up to about there-ish. That should be good. Let's jump in here. It's not giving me an unload. Gold stone, lower stone, turn on, stone picker. Yeah. Uh... Oh, oh, hang on. Did you see it? Hang on. Where is it? There it was. Right there on the bottom. Hang on. Oh, there's like one little spot. Start unloading. Yes. One little spot where it works. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that actually worked. All right. Let's hire a worker. Get it in the field. Get these rocks out, which means I could take the rocks from that and put them in here and Get to work again in another day. Yeah. But between now and then, that is going to be it for today. Episode number three from Elm Creek. I'm having fun with this. Really haven't played Farm Sim 22 a whole lot just because I've been doing so many how-to videos and testing and things like that. Also, check out a bunch of other YouTubers as well. A lot of people doing great stuff right now. Everybody's just trying to help you guys play the game and have fun to the, the, with the height. Level 100 out of 100. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you do. Join the GoFam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos of all kinds here on the channel. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.